In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this wolf pencil topper and you'll need about 65 or so single rubber bands. So let's get started. Let's make the grip for the wolf taking a single rubber band. I'm using it from the fourth peg on the side to the fifth peg and pulling the side outside to the center uh, peg and then pulling the other band onto the next peg. So our single band covers four pegs and I'm going to do this for 12 single rubber bands. So taking a single rubber band and I'm looping it, creating a triangle on those four pegs. Push it down again. Do it one more time on the four pegs. Now we're going to pull the bottom rubber band and pulling it up and onto itself and keep repeating on all four pegs. Push it down, add another one and do this at least 12 times um, with 12 single rubber bands. my last single rubber band again looping it on all four pegs grabbing the bottom single and loop up and onto your peg finally there should be only two rubber bands left grab the bottom single looping it up and your last single rubber bands on each pegs now pull the one across, loop it onto a single peg. So that's the gripper for the, our pencil topper. Let's make the ear for a wolf, taking a single rubber band, coming, creating a triangle like that, taking a single, putting it on both sides. Now taking a single, twist, double it, stretch it out and creating an upside down triangle. So that's what you should have. Taking a single white, and this is for the inside of my ear. You can make it whatever color you want. Pull the um, upside down triangle. Now we created a diamond. Taking a single rubber band, and we are looping it four times on the end peg to cap that off. Now we're reaching under the cap band grab a single rubber band, there should be two, any one of them, and very carefully ease it either to the right or the left, reach back in, grab the last single under there, and loop it to the other side. And now just, I loop my right, loop the center for the ear, loop my left, and loop the top first peg rubber bands onto the center and take your ear very carefully off the loom and put it on your holding hook to add to our face later. So there's one ear. Let's make the other real quick. Taking a single rubber band, again creating a triangle from the top three pegs. Take a single on either side, taking a single twist double, stretch it out and creating an upside down triangle. Taking another single and we're going to cap the third center peg four times. Taking a single white, coming down the first to the second peg in the center and loop up our upside down triangle, making a diamond. Now let's just loop up the center of the ear to the top first peg, go under the cap band, grab the top single, and very carefully looping it either to the left or the right. It's up to you, just very carefully easing it out. Now let's go to the side. I'm doing my right and looping it finally to the center peg. 
going to my left now. Don't force your rubber band in. That's what you should have. Once again, very carefully taking it off the loom and putting it on your hook for later. So those are my two ears. Let's make our wolf's face taking two single rubber band coming from the center down one, two single rubber bands diagonally on both sides. And we are coming down two times for our face with two single rubber bands on both sides. Add a little color. We're using two single whites. We're coming diagonally to close up our face like that. And now come down the center with two single grays. And finally, two single whites from the third peg to the fourth peg to finish off the face. And let's make the nose taking a single black rubber band and we are going to loop it three times on a hook to create four loops like that. Taking two single white rubber bands, twist it to double it and we're pulling the nose right onto the white rubber bands and getting it on a hook like that. Now taking a single white, since this part of the face is white, get your rubber band onto your hook and pulling the nose onto the single white and looping it from the third peg to the third peg for our nose. Let's make the eyes taking a single rubber band, mine will be blue, and looping it once again three times to create four loops. Taking a single white, twist double it, getting the eye onto the white rubber band and looping it onto a hook. Repeat on the other side, same thing, take a single rubber band, looping it three times to create four loops. Taking a single white, twist, double it, and grabbing the eye, getting it on the white, and looping it on like that. Taking a single gray, this will go on the face and pulling our eyes right onto the si single gray rubber bands like that. And now we're looping it from the second peg to the second peg across and we'll split out our eyes. Let's add our ears and it's going to be attached on the first peg and the first peg for both sides making sure you pull it out and getting all the rubber bands onto those pegs for both ears. There's a wolf. And now if you just want the charm for the face, you're going to take a single white and loop, cap that off four times. But since we're making the topper, we're getting the topper gripper part and we're attaching it to the fourth center peg. And again, carefully pulling it out, making sure we're getting all the bands onto that peg and we're ready to loop. Go in, grab the top two bands and it should go up to the nose, loop up and onto itself. Reach back in, grab the next top two and back in, grab the last bottom two. That's what you should have. Now let's loop up the sides, go under, grab the bottom two bands and continue up pulling back any holding bands. Make sure you only reach the bottom two bands and looping it up to the center first peg. Repeat on the other side. Under the ear peg, make sure you reach all the way under, only grabbing the bottom two bands. Now the center of the face same thing, grabbing the bottom two bands and lastly, looping it to the forehead. Taking your single band to create your slip knot 
and tying it off. Let's take our wolf's head topper off the loom. There he is, depending on which side you like the ear better. I might like it this way, so I'm going to push everything back the other way. Just pull the nose out, push the eyes through, swing it around. There's my wolf head pencil topper. I'm tucking my charm string. You don't have to if you have it as a charm. Get your pencil, find the hole, and put your eraser part right through the bottom, like that. And once again, you can push it through if you have an eraser to erase it, or you can just tuck it in. So there's your Wolf pencil topper. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.